if somebody asks this question, which people have been asking for ages, I would say, maybe thousands of years, who am I? Do we really know who I am? If I ask this question to someone, one of the ways people may try to answer that, they may tell their name, okay, I am B.K. Rai or Bharat Indra Rai or Dr. Rai, Professor Rai, whatever. But that's not me, that's my name. If I dig further, like, who are you? So that person may say, okay, this is me. It's difficult to say it's, it's really me because any body part, this is hand, this is head, this is like shoulders. But who is this person? Like, who exactly is this person? So that's a very difficult question and people have been asking for ages with no answers. So I will try to provide some answers today. You can think of an equation U equals the first part of that equation is it's not like the total I'm going to add more components to it but the first thing is brain now what is the brain it's like a house and it consists of about 100 billion neurons in the brain you have about 100 billion neurons maybe plus minus somebody may have more somebody may have less but that's like a number that has been provided in literature and people who do research. If you count one number per second, you will be counting for more than 30,000 years to reach 100 billion. If every uh, neuron that is inside the brain, if it is connected to every other neuron, the brain is going to be about uh, 20 kilometers long. So that's the amount of like neurons that we have inside our brain. So that's the first part. Now, this uh, brain, what exactly it does is it captures information, what we see, what we hear, and whatever actual things that happen, you can call them like realities. You can take example of, okay, this is A, this is B, this is C. So it captures uh, whatever reality is. So that's the brain. Now, the second part of that equation, I would say U equals brain plus neural networks in action. So they are not like sitting idle. They are, they are always active. They always are busy. They are making new connections. You learn something new. They try to capture that and they start converting them into habits. But they are always busy. They are doing a lot of things. So you can think of brain plus these neural networks in action is our mind like brain plus whatever these neurons uh, do. So put together we can say like that's our mind. So far our equation is U equals brain plus neural network in action uh, which is basically your mind. And then there is one more component I will quickly talk about. But what is this mind like brain plus what these neurons do in our brain? Compared to brain capturing the reality, the mind, it looks at various permutations and combinations of actual things. If one part of us, which is brain, only thinks in terms of realities, you can say that brain plus neural networks, they look at all kinds of possibilities. Not just the reality, but possibilities, because they are combining various things and creating some new ideas. When I said the brain could be like thinking in terms of A, B, C, you can think of brain plus neural network thinking in terms of A times B or A, B square, A times B times C or any other possible combinations. And the idea is that it lets people think, it lets people get some kind of impression, feeling, people are able to do some prediction based on the earlier realities it allows people to make interpretations so all those things become possible when brain plus neural networks they are in action and busy uh, doing uh, what they do best but these two combined are not you or me the third most important thing that completes us is our attention 
we may have a brain, we may have neural networks in, in action, but our uh, attention is like a, a super sensitive mouse. Like you move a little bit and the cursor moves a lot. It is like a very hypersensitive kind of thing and it doesn't stay. It's very difficult for the attention. You are listening to me right now, but your attention may be going in so many different directions as I speak. So it is impossible for you to really pay attention to what you are listening. You may be able to like hold attention for some time, but it doesn't happen all the time. My feeling is that when a person pays attention to something, plus the brain, plus the neural networks in action, plus the attention, only then you are there. Otherwise, you are not there. Attention, if it is uh, on something else, you may be sitting in a class, but if your attention is uh, on the moon, then you are not there in the class. You are on the moon. You are thinking about whatever, what kind of rocks are there, what kind of like valleys or mountains are there on the moon. So when a person is there, that person is there, like if you are working on a homework assignments, if your all the three parts that I talked about are there with you, then you are there. Otherwise, you are not there. Everybody has same amount of time, but some people are able to do more in the same time and the simplest reason is that uh, those three things that I talked about, first plus second plus third, third one is attention. So put together when you have it, then you achieve more, you become more effective because you are paying attention on that. So if you are doing assignment, you need to be there. If you are having fun, all those three things needs to be there. If you are traveling, you need to be there. If you are doing exercise, if you are working on staying fit, you need to be there. Uh, if you pay attention to your exercise, what you are doing, you know, like in mindful, mindful exercises, the trainers that you have to pay attention to even your breathing. You may be doing something, but if your mind or attention is somewhere else, you cannot be effective. You are not there if your attention is not there. In a nutshell, what I was trying to say is anything that we do, if we pay attention, I think then we can say we are there.